Alright, so I had really had no plans of doing a video game vlog, but I started watching, I don't know what the hell I'm watching, <laughs> but like I'm watching some non-talking full demo gameplay exploration for the remake of Resident Evil 2. This is long. Now, originally I was going to do like, remember the time I had watched um, the Stefano trailer for the Evil Within 2 and like, you know, I was like all horrified at that. This is kind of like that. But since this is 40 minutes, I'm not going to sit here for 40 minutes and watch it. Like, I'll watch it. But, like, I'll watch, like, maybe... I'm on three minutes and six seconds when I realize, oh, shit, I should be recording this because I've never seen this. So, um, at least not this person play. Who is this? V Cardist in Gaming. I don't know who they are. So, but it has, like, 57,000 almost... 67 or 57 67 you don't go backwards in views almost 58,000 views so um we're gonna watch a bit of it and see what it's talking because I'm watching this on my television it's probably gonna have ads which just pisses me off but we'll we'll actually we'll watch for like the first I see one thing for an ad, and then I see a second thing. When I get to that second thing, that's when I'll stop and watch the rest and come back and tell you what I thought. So, um, let's play that. Uh, and where they are, Leon just opened some gate. He saw some dude was like, oh, it's a, it's a way out this way. Marvin, David, come get some reinforcements. Ain't no reinforcements. They did. So... <laughs> Um, so he crawled under some thing, and now he's walking in some dark-ass, dank-ass hallway, which I don't even know. So he's still, like, walking. Uh. Some juice machines. He's, like, still walking. No, you don't got this, boyfriend. You're gonna die. <laughs> It is dank as hell in these hallways. Ew. Okay, this the the um They kept this room and it kinda looks the same. It's their um I forget the name of that where they like do press conferences and stuff. That's probably where Wesker and that one fan fiction I wrote gave their press conference about the drug gang they busted. Uh dead guy in the floor covered in blood. Ooh. Okay, at least they got some light on now. That door is all boarded up. It's a boombox in there. Why are you touching this dead guy? Are they getting some bullets off the dead guy? Why are you trying to go to the boarded up door? Don't go to that door. Uh oh. What? I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's like blocked off. Hold. He's holding, pushing something out the way. Okay, and now it's real dank. <laughs> like it wasn't dank before cleaning in progress. Going to the ladies' room. Why are you going in the ladies' room? Toilet. 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 Some other thing. Ew, it is real gross. That is, well, I don't know. And they're walking still. What the fuck? Okay, that's just blood splatter. I'm about to say, because, like, does the T virus or G virus in this case, did that, like, affect your drywall? Because it's. Alright, man, I'm trying to get in here. I'm trying to help. Come on, dude. Squeeze. Squeeze, man. Squeeze, boyfriend. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 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 
he got real fucked up, man. They just bit this dude in half. Do not obstruct. Can I, like, like, not? Oh, God. This is entrails hanging out. Officers. Something. Return to the main hall. Um, he's dead. Can we go, please? Oh, Jesus. Can we go? We need to be going. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right in the face. Yep, you missed. Missed the shot. What? Don't go in there. What? You, well, you can't go in there. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, can we please get the fuck out of here? It's so dark! Jesus. Ew, here they come shambling through right now! Some Asian dude, ow! Cause you just got all chomped on. Oh shit. You getting real bit, man. Oh god. He don't even have a face anymore. We were watching men without a face. I didn't even know boyfriend had a problem. <laughs> Dreams of zombies, so that was like having no face was the least of the problems. Uh, you real fucked up. Okay, you hit some hell spray. Thank you. Can we go, please? I don't think they know where they're going because they look at around kind of stupid. I don't think you need to be messing with that. And it's some dude shambling in here. Go! You need to stop! You screaming stop! You just went standing there like, oh, let me shoot this lock off. It's not gonna go off. You need to run back to where they told you to run back to. Oh, shit. Oh, please. Thank you. Ow! Get off and stop trying to bite on my ass, please! Oh, the last black man in town! No. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you, black man! Yeah, okay. There was another officer I had. Could... Leon look kind of bad. Like I know he just got out some shit, but Leon had like a like a like a dopey cuteness to him. This Leon, he looked like a broke ass Leonardo DiCaprio. All right, we'll stop there for this for what I'm talking. All right, so. Yeah, that was kind of tense. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna watch whoever this is actually play because their plan is kind of like wonky. But at the same token, at the same token, I'm not gonna hate on their plan because um, it's real dark. <laughs> they need to like turn a little bit of brightness up because you can't see nothing. So, but turn it up, turn it up. But they ain't turning it up, so. And I get why it's supposed to be dark, because it's supposed to be, like, a chaos situation, and, like, all this shit is happening, and the lights went out, and tra-la-la. So, I get that, but it's it's real dank. <laughs> like, there should be some emergency lighting or something, because a police station wouldn't be in that kind of darkness, even in an emergency situation, even in 1998. 
they would have some kind of emergency lighting up. So, like, at least you could see the fucking floor or, like, <laughs> like a wall or something. So, I don't kind of, like... Like, it's just too dark. They need to, like, brighten it just a smattering. Because, like, you can't see shit. So, but I'm going to watch the rest of this. Because this goes on. I'm at 10 minutes and 30 seconds currently. So, I'm going to watch the rest of this. And then swing back and let y'all know what it was talking. So, hang on. Alright, so that was real interesting. The, the, the route that this guy took. He got real chomped on. Can I just say boyfriend got fucked up? Like... <laughs> He got bit. He got bit bad. At the end, he had to jump cut because he got real fucked up because he kept getting bit. So I'm assuming he had died, like, in his travels because I'm telling you, boyfriend was just getting fucked up. But um, after when you do the cut scene with the, the last black man in town, um, he Leon where he had gotten bit on his neck you could actually see that so that was some consistency that was really really cool um he also did some weird ass puzzle with some handheld lock it, that was weird I wasn't really following along with that but that was real weird how he got like it was like some button or something sorry for the spoilers but like yeah so and he went in some other space that looked like jail cells but it looked like it was blown out and there was some c4 on like a wall or something but and there was like this weird note that correlates with it which i'm i'm only assuming given by the tone of the note is um brian chief of just insanity the chief of raccoon city i am assuming that was his note that he, he was, he was like, oh, it's gonna be all this murder and trash, <laughs> so, I don't know what the fuck that was, but it was, like, some C4 hanging out somewhere by these jail cells, but, why, like, okay, so some crazy guy was blowing up parts of the, the police station, but why did other parts of the police station have, like, drywall issues, where, like, it was, like, drywall coming off the wall. Like, as far as I know, the, the G-Virus, this is not the T-Virus, the G-Virus does not have any effect on drywall, but I guess it might, I don't know, but it was just weird, like, some of the walls were all fucked up, and, like, some of them had claw marks, which was probably from the liquors, but... Was that fucked up like that before all of this happened? Because I know back in the day, they were saying that because... And they did touch on this in the, in this remake, that um that RPD headquarters was, used to be an art museum, which was part of the reason why Brian Irons, the chief of Raccoon City Police, wanted that building because he liked art, but he liked real fucked up art. So that was why he, they, he wanted um where rpd was which is like on some street called innerdale yes i know way too much about resident evil stuff for my own damn good so that was what was going on with that but it was a good watch like he was really in depth he went to places i hadn't seen before and did shit and got bit and like i don't even know but i still enjoy it and it just pains me to say that i enjoy it because i know capcom gonna be all full of themselves and be like oh ha 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 and it's like don't get too don't get too fucking full of yourself yet you still got some proving to do because as far as i know this is only just the leon show there is supposed to be a claire side of this so i'm looking forward to seeing what they doing with claire i am not the biggest fan of any redfield but i did like claire i like claire a lot better than i liked her brother but um i if they make her cheesy then that'll just prove to me that capcom by themselves cannot come up with a strong female character which is kind of sad so i don't know um because let's face it sheva kind of sucked even though she was black and she still kind of sucked Helena was I like <laughs> I'm talking about post Resident Evil post or Resident Evil post Shinji Mikami years. Sheva was like terrible. Helena was eh. they kind of tried to do something with Sherry when she was an adult. Like, it was still kind of like boy. So I don't I don't know. I'm I'm strongly believing that Capcom. We we just don't make roles for women. I'm sorry. Like I I I I I get that Capcom. I can I can see that perfectly. 
So, mm, but it's good, and I guess I'm looking forward to it, because Lord knows it's probably nothing. Actually, um, whatchamacallit is supposed to be coming out, like, a month later, a little under a month later, like a day, a few days under a month later, um... And when the last thing they had was it was on like the side of the wall. <laughs> um, what is I'm thinking Left for Dead. It's not Left for Dead. Um, Days Gone. <laughs> so it'll be some stuff going around, but I'm not really considering that like stuff. So that is all I have. And this was an unintentional vlog. So it just came out of left field. But yeah, thanks for sticking in with me. Sorry about the spoilers. I should have mentioned it, but I didn't I wasn't I haven't even eaten breakfast yet, and it's 10.30. I need to get my shit together. So I'm going to get out of here and start trying to get my shit together, and I'll check y'all next time.